the awesome God. He is Yahweh God. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give your praise this morning. Worship the King of Glory. Father, we bless your name. Welcome to the presence of the Holy Spirit this morning. Of the mercy, Lord, precious Holy, to welcome you. We cannot do without your presence. We need your presence in this service. We need your presence to unlock the prophetic time which we are in. Lord, Holy Ghost, come and speak to your servant, the Apostle Lord. Come and speak to him. Give him divine utterance, Lord. Open your mouth, pray that the spiritual airway will open. Let the spiritual airway of this commission be open. And everyone hear the sound of my voice will receive the word of God into their spirit. And the word will be learned bring him and bring deliverance to their soul. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. Holy Spirit, to welcome your presence this morning. Pray that you come and have your way. Come and pick in your people, Lord. Come and pick in your church. Come, Lord, and heal the land. Come, Lord, and help humanity. Come and save your people. Come, Lord Jesus. We need your grace this morning. Have your way. In the name of Jesus. Father, we'll have your way this morning in Nazareth. I minister your word. Let your word go with power. And bring healing to every soul. Bring healing to every body. In the name of Jesus. This morning I command sickness in your body to go. Every disease to disappear. Every generation and ancestral causes to be broken. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. That you shall believe in me. Shall not live like a daughter. Put your hands together as you take your seat. Praise God. God bless you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We are the season of. Unlocking prophetic times, and the Lord Himself will reveal Himself to you this morning in the name of Jesus. I want to appreciate God for seeing us through all the month of June, and we are in the month to the month of July, and we are in September. Praise God! We are August, sorry. Praise God! It's the month of August, and in the eight months, eight stars start for a new beginning. This month, the Lord will begin afresh with you. You begin afresh with the church. You begin afresh with the nations of the world. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will do anything in your life. The Lord will do anything in your business. The Lord will do anything in your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can you shout amen? Amen. Hallelujah. We have a, we're in a series and we're running up to the um, unlocking prophetic times. So many Christians today are in the broad way, not only the times we are in. They are in the broad way due to materiality, worldliness, and its amusement. They want to look like the world, they want to be like the world. They want to talk like the world. They want to dress like the world. That's why I see somebody who is a Christian threading his hair. A man threading his hair. That is the fashion of the world, it's not of Christ. You see a sister opening her, her chest. A woman opening her, showing her breast, just like Jezebel. Jesus said, for such that must worship the Father, must worship him in the spirit and in the truth. John 4.33. Paul said, 
Paul also said in Romans 8, verse 6, he said, To be carnally minded is death. To be carnally minded. If you are a Christian and you are carnal minded, the end is destruction. Death. You shall not die in Jesus' name. Yeah. William Booth said, We must wake ourselves up. William Booth is the founder of Salvation Army. He said, We must wake ourselves up. Or somebody else will take our place and bear our cross and thereby rob us of our crown. May someone else not take your crown. May someone else not take your crown. May someone else not rob you of your place and take your crown at the end in the name of Jesus. A.W. Dota also says, when he returns, being Jesus, when he returns, it's not as important as the fact that we are ready for him when he returns. Charles Spurgeon said that the Lord will surely come, but will appear only to those who look for him. He will not be seen by men whose eyes are blinded with serve and sin. They will not be seen by men whose eyes are blinded with materialism, with the fashion of this world, with the things of this world. They will not be, will not be seen by men who are glued their mind, their self, to the things of this world. There is nothing good in this world. There is nothing good to be desired in this world. John Wesley said that the spirit of the spirit in the heart of the true believer says with endless desire, come Lord Jesus. Come Lord. So that should be the prayer of every saint. That should be the prayer of every Christian. Come Lord. This morning I will be preaching on a topic that they call to salvation. The call to salvation. God is calling every individual to salvation. God is calling the nations to salvation. God is calling humanity to salvation. God is calling false prophets, false apostles, false bishops to salvation. God is calling every false brother, false sister to salvation. A drowning man needs to be rescued. If someone is drowning in the water or in the river or in the ocean, he needs to be rescued. Likewise, anyone that is drawn or being drawn in the ocean of sin needs salvation. Like manner, someone who is living in sin needs help, needs to be saved. The desperate cry of a person who is trapped in a burning house is to be saved. That is the desperate cry of anyone that is burning in a house is to be saved. The world is burning and the world needs to be saved. Our families are burning and need to be saved. Our churches are burning and need to be saved. The nations need to be saved. What did I say earlier? I said a drowning man needs to be rescued. Someone who is sick in his body needs the attention of the doctor. The desperate cry of a person who is trapped in a burning house is to be saved. Likewise, 
a sinner separated from God, separated from his maker, as a result of sin, is in danger of eternal damnation, eternal destruction, and needs utter salvation from sin. A drowning man needs to rescue someone who is sick in his or her body, needs a physician, needs a doctor. A desperate cry of a person who is trapped in a burning house is to be saved. Likewise, a sinner separated from God as a result of sin is in danger of eternal destruction, is in danger of eternal damnation, and needs urgent salvation from sin. This morning, God will save you. God will save the world in the name of Jesus. Peter, open to Romans chapter. So Romans chapter 10 verse 8 to 13. Paul said Romans chapter 10 verse 8 to 13. He said what said it? The world is near thee even in thy mouth and in thy heart that is the world of faith which we preach that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thy heart that God has raised him, Jesus, from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Verse 10 For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness and with mouth confession is made unto salvation. When a man confession is made for the salvation of his for the scripture said, Whoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed, for there is no difference between the two and the Greek, for the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. Verse 13 For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. God is calling us to be saved. God is calling the nations to be saved. God is calling humanity to be saved from sin. Why is God calling you to be saved? Why is God calling us to be saved? Why is God calling man to be saved? Why is God calling us to be saved? Why? God is not willing that any should perish and that all should come. That is why he is calling us to be saved. It is not the will of God that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9. Not the will of God is calling us to be saved because it is not his will. It is not his will that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. It is not his will that be, 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 that be dead should perish. It is not his any man should perish. It is not his will that Michael Jackson should perish. It is not his will that the worst sinner on earth should perish. It is not his will that the fornicator, the adulterer, the liar should perish. That all should come to repentance. This morning there is a room for you to repent. God is calling you. It doesn't matter the sin you find yourself in. It doesn't matter the sin you are in. God is calling you this morning to be saved. It is not His will that you be destroyed at the end. It is not His will that you be destroyed in the hellfire, which is meant or was meant for the devil and the fallen angels. God will punish all sinners who engage in fornication. God will punish all sinners. And idolatry and all sins. God will destroy them. God will punish them. This is the Bible that there's nothing hidden under the soul that shall not be revealed. I heard about a, a young man, he is, I think he, what they call him, uh, he, he 
something in Nigeria, a scammer was arrested in US. And he, he has started mentioning those he gave money. And this man thought they have covered his sin. They thought that the policemen, two police officers, they thought they have covered the plan that sin is being opened. The same way, likewise, every sinner in the last day, everything you have done will be open to God, will be open to everyone to see. Hide your sins from God. That's why you need to repent quickly. You need to repent and come to Jesus. He said, Come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, I will give you rest. Bible said, In the soul that sin, he shall die. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus. You cannot get salvation through any other means. I sign Jesus. You cannot get salvation from your director. You cannot get salvation from unholy fraternity, from a spirituality or a cantar. You cannot get salvation from, from any deity like a mother. You cannot get salvation from false prophets. Salvation comes from God. That is why Jesus is calling you to repent before it be too late. Before you cry, and I know Jesus is putting up a call to salvation to all who are willing to be saved. Why? Because it is not his will that any should perish. Why? Because it is not his will that you end up in hell. It is not his will that you be destroyed eternally in hell. It is his will for you to enjoy eternal life within hell. <laughs> Satan is raising people in this end time to deceive many. Jesus said that in the last day many will be deceived. Many, even the very elect will be deceived. I pray that you shall not be deceived in the name of Jesus. What are the conditions for salvation? If you will be saved, because many today are in church and are not saved. Many today are workers in the sanctuary of God, they are not saved. Many today are
They had the message of the kingdom. They got repented and received their healing, received their miracles. Condition for salvation. The message of the gospel of Jesus Christ sent out around the call to come to him. It is a very simple message that is the word of faith which we preach. That men should believe and be saved. That's the message. To believe and be saved. That men should believe and be saved. So what do you believe? What is the message we have on daily basis from our pupils? What are the things we call our computer to the level of our foundation? Is it a message that will bring them to salvation? Is it that will send their souls from hell? Or just send them to Jesus said, what shall it profit a man? If you gain the whole world and lose your soul. Listen, your soul is so precious to God, not what you have on earth. What shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul? You know, people have read my message online, pastors are watching from US, from all over the world. And that's why we are, by the grace of God, we are updating our camera. I have to make a sacrifice so that I can get that camera to give them the quality message. So I can send some things to them and pray. Let's see Romans chapter 10 verse 8. We will just pray. So Bex, what said? Bex, what said it? The word is mighty. It is in the mouth and in the heart that is the word of faith which we preach. The word of faith which we preach. Something like Your soul. 
giving arms cannot save your soul. Going to see the motherless and all the rest cannot save your soul. Making animals sacrifice the little one of things that I was just at home and watching. A, a young man he was building close to my house. I saw him he was sprinkling sand. I didn't know who gave him the sand. I was just laughing that this guy is lost. That cannot save you. Sand cannot save you. The only thing that can save you is your repentance. Change. Turn away from wickedness. Turn away. Turn away from the world. And follow the ways of righteousness. Follow the ways of Christ.
unto salvation. So you must confess as a sinner. You are an adulterer, you are a fornicator, you are a liar, you are a scammer, you are a murderer, you are a ritualist. Just confess your sin. God will show you mercy this morning in the name of Jesus. Just come to me this morning. Say, come on to me. All you can labor on a heavy land, I will give you rest. There's no hope in the world. There's no hope in any cause. There's no hope in witchcraft. There's no hope in any political party. There's no hope in any organization. There's no hope in any society, in any family than the family of Christ.
and they couldn't come closer. So all he did was to just walk gradually. He walked into the cathedral. It was a very large cathedral. He always told me, I'm standing before God this morning. He told me, walk in. And the place was quiet. And a young man was at the altar preaching. Give me the message of hope. Give me the message of life. Message of salvation to me. To people that were needy. To be hearing the word. And there was kind of sorrow. And he walked in. And sat. He was hearing that same word. And no power, no harm came to him. He said, when he looked up, it was his son, big eye. Beloved, you are here because God wants to be here. God is about to use this teaching to bring global revival. God is about to use two of them for him to bring global revival. Wherever you are, you are not saved. God is not going to save you by his grace. God is going to deliver you by his grace. In the name of Jesus, no power can stop you. No demon can stop you. In the name Jesus Christ, you will succeed on earth to make them at last in the name of Jesus. He told me, he said, no, Papa, nobody could dare him anymore. They couldn't touch him. They couldn't come in. He was saved. God promised to pardon and forgive those who repent of their sins and surrender their lives to Christ. Not to anybody. Let's see Romans chapter 10, verse 13. Romans chapter 10, verse 13. Paul said to the Romans, in Romans chapter 10, verse 13, he said, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whosoever shall call, not shall call upon the name of the Lord, he shall be saved. Somebody will be saved this one. That family will be saved this one. That nation will be saved. That, that nation will be saved this morning. The nations of the world will be saved this morning. God will bring back revival, sanity, sanity, sanctification back to church in the name of Jesus. Listen, if people will come to him, they will be saved. If the people in our churches today will truly come to Jesus, not to the man of God, they will be saved. If the people that, that gather us in our last communion today, the pastor will focus them to the cross. Saved. I said they will be saved. You will be saved. Your family will be saved in the name of Jesus Christ. It is a promise he has made which he, in which he will surely fulfill. If the sinner does his will, he will be saved. If you do the will of God, you will be saved. Then when you do your own will and turn away, and turn away from the ways of God, you will be destroyed. It's a promise you have made which will surely be fulfilled. If a sinner goes his own path by turning away from sin, God will save him. God will deliver him. And you will make heaven at the end. Can you say amen? amen. Let's see first John chapter 1. As we close, tell John chapter 1, verse 9. Let's see what John the beloved said in first John. Tell John chapter 1, verse 9. Tell John, if you're just shout, Amen. Tell John chapter 1, verse 9. The so if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive all our sins and to cleanse all from all unrighteousness. Let me, let me read from verse 8. The so if we say that we have not sinned, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. Then so we confess our sins, then we confess our sins, he is not unjust, the people of the world, it is the faithful and just. It's not a job to forgive us our sins and to cleanse all from all our righteousness. If we say that we have not, we have, we have not seen, we make him a liar, and the truth is not in us. That's why the sense of cleansing in the last day, church. That's why the sense of cleansing in the last day, church. People are saying, "What said is said." I was sharing with the pastor today about a a a a, makeup, a pastor, a church has a, a pastor has a makeup in Nigeria who was doing so well. Yes, the global network. But all of a sudden, he started preaching heresy. He started telling the world that what saved is saved. He started telling his congregation and everyone hearing, I don't want to listen to him anymore. That, that, he, that, he, that sin cannot take you to hell because Jesus has already paid for your sin. Is that not deception? Is that not heresy? 
the pastor. And people are clapping for him. I had him went to a mega church in Lagos. He was sharing in, in, a, in a convention. And he told, him, he told them, he said, God is not in heaven. Where is God? He said, well, yes. And the pastor, was, the, the, his voice was, was dancing and jumping. That's not where is God? Be careful where you go to. Be careful to the people you listen to. Because the Bible says in the end time, the last day, many prophets shall arise and they will deceive many. Even the very elect will be deceived. Even the very elect will be deceived. Even some of us who have not seen, we may be a liar and the word is not in us. The truth is not in us. Say, okay, now I am saved. I start sleeping with all the girls in my church, all the married ones. So, because you don't have to pay the price for my sins, so yeah, I see what you have, you have come. If you call walking corpse, dead man walking, he can see the making words, he can see the preaching, he can, can see the deceiving people, he can see the speaking in tongues. They are finished. You know, when Adam died, he was still living. Is that of us? When Adam and Eve died, they see that they got to get up with them. They died. As the son of said, he shall die. So they say, they never deceive them. They say, you won't die. You only know truth. You only, your eyes will only be open. You have knowledge of what you don't know. They are things God has hidden away from you. You know them. And they ate. Eve ate and didn't die physically. Brought it to her husband and said, I ate it. I'm still walking, I'm still living. God has lied to us. So taste it. Eat. And they all ate and we are still moving around that they, they were dead spiritually. And dead and dying. Who lied to them? God never lied. Because when God came to visit them, when God came to commune with them, to have interactions with them, God got Adam. And, and, and where are you? God couldn't find them anymore. Why did God see them? God couldn't see them. God couldn't see them. God Woman, you gave me has given me what you asked not to eat. Excuses. In the last day, he came up. The Bible man died in excuses. Adam, who did this to you? The woman you gave me. That's the problem. Many of us, the pastor, didn't tell the truth to God. That is why I, I live the life I live. Listen, you are inexcusable in the last day. It's better you repent now before you be too late. Better repent! You better repent! You better repent now! Be gone before it's too late! Who, who lied to who, who lied? This is not the time lied to me. God spoke the truth. Because when they ate, they knew they were naked. They were not naked. They were naked. They, the glory left. The glory departed. But in the ordinary eye, they thought they were naked. I'm saying, God, be for you who can be against you. And the way that she not right unto a man, that the way which she not right unto a man, but the end thereof is the way that leads to destruction. You will not be destroyed. I pray for you this way, you shall not be destroyed. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will not be destroyed. The devil will never destroy you. Look how King Saul died. Look how he died. This was a man that 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 went, that, that single-handedly chased all the witches in the land, destroyed that world, destroyed that shrine and everything. Was sitting for him, looking for witches now to 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 prophesy for him. Call me Samuel. You couldn't reach Samuel. Call me Samuel. God was no longer talking to him. No prophet could speak to him. He began to look for an alternative. The problem with the church today is that because we don't want to be saved, we don't want to seek it, we don't need this prayer, therefore we are seeking for eternity, looking for help where there is no help. Looking for help where there is no help. Looking for help where there is no help. Because we don't want to be saved, we don't want the truth, we don't want to know the truth. Because Will. 
Like I said, today I wept. I wept about a lady I knew so time. We are all in February in a fearful fire system. As Tutia was telling me yesterday, I wept. The woman just died miserably. How did she die? Let me just say that what we hear. Talks for few who move from place to place in the name of signs and wonder. We will no longer be moving from place to place. God of Peter is world. Wrong with the world. How did this woman end up? Very well, too much work with uh, in an oil company. Highly bought it. She retired and they paid her 90 million naira. I didn't know how she left her pastor. The pastor had the word, Pastor Tony had the word. How she left the pastor and located this pastor in the here, close here, close to me. I've got the word of other pastors. Don't you know what I will say here? How the real human maneuver did not siphon the woman and let the woman blind. A rich, wealthy woman. A woman that bought land for church, built a church, gave that property and put up the world as a great chain. Bless the church. Now, the time they sent pastor, took the pastor, the woman sent a lot of them to Ghana in order to do them. When they got to that place, the pastor there in Ghana, he said, This name should get to me our church builders. Go send them to your church to build. Why do you bring their name to do them? That's the, the world we find ourselves in today. As I'm talking with you, that woman is a more child. When Pastor Tony went there, he went. Hi, Jacob died. You think you don't? God is in this place if you don't know. We are not moved by what we see, we are only moved by the world. We are not moved by crowds. We are not moved by the, the prosperity of the day. We know that God will like preach. The woman is a more child now. Even the pastor that told me who was the victim, and in fact, he was one that brought that, that took that one to that church. In the name of helping her, this pastor, so far as he can see, can help you. Pastor told you would have died. That what? It's not everything with his tough online. You would have died also. The first one that was so die was his butcher's wife. He told you that he told the church that somebody will die in this church very soon. Not the first thing. Somebody that was, I'm telling the truth. And the woman was he dying on not for God that delivered that woman. What about top naval officer? He took that on four million. That one said that he, she refused to mention sure God for her life, for the sake of her life. But they were not after that king. He told, listen, you need to be careful. We are the end time. There are people that are there. They are not saved. Living people under the influence of their mind. You can't be saved. That's why you be careful where you step in, where you go, the places you go, the people you praise. Best you drop your seed. We are in the last day. God is calling the world. God is calling the nations to salvation. God is calling his church back to salvation through salvation. God is calling us say, come on to me, all you that live on the heaven, and I will give you rest. God is about to join the ends. In less than at this point, as I was preparing the Lord told me, son, I will judge the nations. And my judgment is beginning with the church. The Lord said to me, as I was preparing this one to come, he said, I will judge even pastors in Nigeria. There are people we celebrate. God said, I will why? Because of their iniquities. I'm not kidding. Things will happen. Don't cry. A lot of people go. Don't bother yourself. It's the judgment of God. Because I will join the church. I will join the nations that don't want to serve me. That's why he's calling us to salvation. He's calling us to salvation. He's calling us back to salvation. You know what Elijah did? Elijah called the people back to God. He brought them back. He rededicated them. Sanctify them and God heal the land. God cannot heal the land when you don't want to be saved. That's why this campaign of BFN thing that are doing in Nigeria, pray for Nigeria fast. I don't fast those fasting anymore. I don't do them. Most of them send me some things. I don't even go to that meeting. Why? They don't want to lead the people rightly. If my who are called by my nation, open and say, and repent. Us. 
When they don't draw him back to God, you pray and pray and come to you prayer means God will not answer your prayers. We don't call him back to God. Our pastors, our jimos, our fathers of faith need to bring people back to God. We dedicate them. Beloved, I want you to sink this into your mind as I round up this message of the kingdom this morning. The call to be born again goes out to everyone today to embrace God's invitation and escape the doom that awaits those who reject it. But if you reject this message, you are finished. This message is the only message that will save the world. Don't you know that someone can be healed and still go to hell? That's all us. Somebody can come to church and get healed, divine healing and still go to hell. It's possible. Somebody can come and preach the way I preach and still go to hell. That's why it's a bit of ways the Lord said to us in, in my testimony that many of us, many will come, Lord, I healed in your name, I prophesied in your name, I did your name. He said, get out of me, you workers of iniquity, I know you know why. We God says such a thing to people who be expert on earth. Why? Because those who are businessmen on earth. They were not doing the business of God. They were, they were doing running their own business for their own benefit. They had a God at heart. Beloved, it was half God at heart. Kingdom at heart. Hell at heart. That should be your desire. And the utmost goal on earth is heaven.
from your heart of heart that you will not make it, you still have the chance to repent now. You know what happened in the days of Lot? Lot was a good. She was saved and looked back and became a people of salt in it. She was saved because of Lot. She got back to a godly family, then she looked back and became a people of salt. Remember the days of Noah? How Noah and the member of his household ate people in the whole world. And say, Somebody can, we have pastor, does it mean that God will destroy the whole world? Is God such wicked or so wicked? You know, God is in the state of no man. In the days of Noah, they, they, there were hundreds of thousands. The heavenly people are saying, eight. Am I out of connect? Eight souls. The whole world ate them. Jesus said that the way to hell is broad. The way to heaven is narrow. Only few are found in it. Only few. Why will few be found in the way to heaven? Because many are in church today. They are not in touch with God. Church has become business. Church has become one of the schools of thought. I met a man who is in charge of execution all over the world, I think within Africa. West, West, within Africa. He's a major person. And he told me, he said, he said Pastor, Reverend, trust me. He said, Reverend, do you, do you, are you telling me that God is so wicked that he will destroy the whole world? I will tell you, I'm just, I'm just quoting him. He said, do you, can you imagine how many billions in China? The man was asking me. He said, you know how many, how many God would be so wicked to destroy the whole of China? I said, God is a respecter of no man. He has, he has laid his standard. What is his standard? The soul that sinned is shall What is the standard? The wages of sin is the standard for The Bible is the standard for living. Recently, the Lord appeared to me and I, I saw the wedding took place. And the wedding, only few attended it. But I thank God I was one among those attended the wedding. And I believe we are going to be the next. I will join that wedding. Very, very soon it will happen. Very, very soon. Don't allow anybody to deceive you in the name of church, in the name of religion. Don't allow anybody to deceive you in the name of doctrine. Every man will give account of his life. Every man will give account of his life. You will give account of your life, I will give account of my life. The Pope, who has deceived many, will give account of his life. His cardinals, I'm, I'm, I'm saying the boldness, his cardinals will all give account of their lives. When you hide the truth, you don't want people to know the truth, you're hiding, you will give account of your life. You give account of it. You lead down people, you're, you're making them walk in disobedience, you give account of it. And baby, this morning, wherever you are, there's a way out for you. If you can only come to him this morning and say, Lord, I'm so sorry, have messed up on me. Forgive me for my sins and cleanse my name from the book of death. And transform my name to the book and say, Lord, I'm so sorry, I cannot save myself. Help me, save me, Lord. Save me. You can do that now, wherever you are. Close your eyes. You're watching, you can kneel down. Close your bed. Lift your hands, close your eyes, and ask God for mercy. Ask God for mercy this morning. Ask God to forgive you wherever you are. Talk to God, this is an individual thing. It's a decision between you and God. Ask God for mercy. Ask him for mercy. Ask him for mercy. Lead the Baba Bush. Read the Baba Baba Bush. Shut up. Lead the Antonio Baba Shanda. Rasha Kulia Bayande Lega Baba Bush. Mercy Lord. Mercy Lord. Mercy Lord. In Jesus' name. You know, recently there is something that Pope said. He said that the Bible is identical. They will soon so write it off. I'm telling you, it's a dead end. This is the oldest book in the world. The oldest. They say it's a dead end. They want to print another book. I don't know the one they will bring to us, but that should be after we live here. Amen. I said that should be after we leave the earth. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Nobody can take this precious book away from me. I was what they did earlier. It's not for Luther. They hid the Bible. The Pope is cardinal, they hid the Bible from the people. But 
thank God for Luther and, and his people who gave us the world pack. And same thing about our they, they, they want to take the Bible out of the world. There are things you put on faith. Very soon, if you promise the Bible of faith, they will tell you, I will not need this here. I'm telling you, they will censor it. There, there are things you promise of faith, they tell you it's not true. We don't need this, it's, they take them off. So we must see the world, turn the world up. Show yourself a friend that will find the next world to their shape. We are the end time, we are the last day. Praise God. Lord, help you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Some of you wave your hands and appreciate God this morning. Give him praise. Just give your and say, Lord, thank you for your word of heart this morning. It shall not return to you, Lord, until I come into my life. Thank you, Father, for your word. I receive your word. I receive your word with all of my heart. Let this word produce results in my spirit, in my soul, in my body. I shall live unto God to the end. I shall live unto I shall live unto the end. I refuse to compromise my faith for anything. I refuse to trade my faith, my salvation with anything. I refuse to trade my life. I refuse to trade my salvation with money, with fame, with materialism. Lord. Thank you, Father. We give you praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Lift your hand, Father. Thank you for the church. Thank you for everyone hearing the sound of my voice this morning. I pray that this grace will rest upon them. I pray, Lord, that none of them shall be found one day. You will help them. Amen. You will deliver them in this last day. Amen. Lord, I declare that everyone here shall be raptured. Thank you, Father, for your mercy and your grace. We give you praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Put your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah.